giving your friend insight into your upcoming projects and, and future novels, what can readers expect uh, from your book, for example, The Household? This is my first Victorian novel, which mm. I'm really excited about because it's my favourite era and I just wanted, I was waiting to find a really good idea to write something set in the Victorian era and finally I had it. The idea came to me when I was reading Claire Tomlin's biography of Charles Dickens in the 1840s, at the peak of his fame, he set up a home for fallen women, a kind of refuge for women who he thought he could help give a better life to. So he, he sort of chose these women himself, he combed prisons and workhouses and hospitals and infirmaries and um, found like homeless women and sex workers and they were all young and he kind of invited them to live at this house and taught them skills and, and have a, essentially a second chance at, at life. And I just thought that was such a great premise. I couldn't believe no one had written about it in a novel before. Um, so I was kind of like frantically trying to finish this story, thinking that someone else is going to be around the corner, like going to snatch it if, um, if I didn't get there first. Yeah, I had to be quicker <laughs> than everyone else. Um, so it follows two girls at the house, Martha and Josephine. Martha's the first girl in the house and at the same time as entering she has just found out her sister's disappeared and Josephine is there for different reasons, she's a bit more resistant, she doesn't really want to be there and is kind of dealing with her own stuff and the third woman it follows is Angela Burdick Coots who set up the home with Charles Dickens. She was his friend and she was very rich. Mm -hmm. She was the richest woman in the UK at the time. She even lent money to the Queen. She was a banking heiress. Those three women's lives are kind of collide in ways that none of them were expecting.